this is kind of just like a well, blammo, you know, like right, right to the face, you know, right there. You didn't even see it coming. You didn't even see it happening. Back in 2013, when I started fucking with Down, they came in these little, uh, like blue or green tablets. They were like fake Oxy 80s. And, uh, I took some and it made my face swell up, like flare up all over the place. You know, I got a cyst right here that I ended up uh, popping with a, uh, a pin. But that was after hitting this spot with a knife. And it left a horrible scar on the side of my face for so many years. And... I was like wanting to go to a dermatologist to get the scar fixed and finally got the scar fixed. It's a huge scar because there's a cyst inside the scar and it was like, it was a mess. Feeling like I can't just, I can't just go to, go to sleep with this on my face, you know, I have to, I have to like take a shower. Or something. Something something needs to be done with it. Like I'm thinking I'm thinking I should just take a shower and uh Oh shit, Carson. Carson just arrived. What's up? I think I could wait. I could give it a wait. I could give it a rain check. You know, and tomorrow morning, just when I'm taking my shower, just take it off and wash it. And I'm gonna have to do that anyways. It's like, all right, there's the monster. Arrgh. 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 Now, now, now you can call me Scar. <laughs> now you can call me Scar. Holy fuck, I'm lonely. Hope it heals fast. Hope it that disappears into the crevices of my skin. Scar is a uh, yikes looking. Very yikes, very much so. <sighs> like shit, they kept asking me, "Am I happy?" You know, it's like, fuck, man. Do you think I'm happy? Shh. 
straight. But there will be no more swelling after this. And this is some completely different shit. This is some shit that I got for my knee. When I smashed my knee into the ground. I have some shit for my face too. And I'm gonna go get that tomorrow. Cover it, but yeah, it is just like definitely some shit. It's crazy. Had it off for a little while, it off for a few hours. You know how it is. I haven't started touching it yet, but you can see the stitches. I have some stuff here. The most important ointment. I've got these things. I don't like look at my face. So bitch please. Topical antibiotic, the exact same shit that I have. I got stickers from Walmart. Could have gotten my, all that shit for free. I had so many problems with my face, you know? And it was like And I have so many problems with myself, too. And I, uh, all of these problems that I have, you sort of tuck them underneath the rug, you know? Sort of put them in the back of your mind, you know, bottle them up. Wish that you never even had them, and they never existed, and hope that they would just disappear. But, you know, as time comes by, they just, you know... <laughs> They don't just knock on, they don't just tap, tap on your back and remind them of their existence. They're like, even stronger. That's why you have to get, you have to deal with your health issues the minute you get them. Alright, well, it's the morning. Good morning. I just took a shower. Now I'm gonna go take the dog for a walk. And then I have to go do some community service at this one rec center. Oh my gosh. Yeah, like seriously, I have no clue how much money I spent on batteries. Like. Fucking cell phone company is just like, my hands are tied. Or the power company. And sh fuck, my foot hurts so fucking bad. I slept all last night with my bandage off. And you know, I don't really mind it off. I'm thinking of just leaving it off. But I still got the stitches in, so I have to be careful. Cause sometimes I want to stitch, I want to bandage it up. And once I get the stitches took out, I want to bandage it up too. Maybe I don't know. Get some of my ointment on it. It really helps. The stuff gets it healing fast. Like, I think that it'll be like, oh my god, it healed so fast. When it comes time to pull the stitches out, it makes me want to just leave my bandage on. But for the sake of healing, if I go out, then I'll, I'll put my bandage on. Gotta make some moves. Ta-da! Yeah, so I've been basically leaving the bandage off and uh, it's a little bit itchy. Or it's been itching and uh, 
I, I just took a shower and it's not itchy anymore, but yeah, I've just been cleaning it with this alcohol, isopropyl. Seems to work pretty good, you know? Just put a little bit in my hand, over my scar. Seems like it's very much clean for me. As clean as it will get. Get some ointment, put it on there, and that's basically all I can do. So I'm happy about this thing. I'm happy it's stitched up. I'm happy it's gone. I don't have to worry about nothing. I can go out into public. I can be like, bam. You know, I can be like, ah, ah. And I don't have to worry about a big blemish, a big nasty looking fucking thing. People look, people looking into it, you know, I don't, I don't gotta worry, I don't gotta worry. I'm completely worryless about my face now. If anybody's got business with me, it's business, it's business time. So, yeah. That just keeps it free from dirt. a dermatologist appointment today. I'm going to get the stitches looked at today, removed or something like that. And I trimmed my face as much as possible. <clears throat> oh my gosh. I just had my stitches pulled out, which leaves me just like And basic disbelief, like, oh my god. It leaves it like, fucking, like, oh my gosh, like it's a whole different looking scar. You know? Man. Well, I'm gonna take extra good care of it now, though, for sure. For sure. Yeah, this stuff is just, um... He said it, it says it's a uh, fusidin ointment, so, but it's actually just um, antibiotic ointment. It just sucks that I feel like I have to cover it again. The, the stitches made it look so That's fast too, I feel like it was only like eight days, less than eight days. But this is like a couple days later. I was very discouraged to make videos, so I don't make videos every day. But yeah, <clears throat> here it is. Bye. Looks fucked. I can see a stitch hole. Or maybe that's some stuff. They said that they put some stuff in there that would fall out on its own. But that right there at the bottom, weird looking scar area. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it looks way better though. It's in a straight line. Yeah, it looks better now. Still, I still don't touch it and like grab it and rub around on it and stuff. Still haven't done that. So maybe once I'm able to do that, move some scabbing or anything that I've formed there, it might look a little bit better. Hmm. Well, I think that's it for the first video at least. If I do make another video about my scar process then probably be the beginning of another video so I guess watch more for scar ver, scar uh, <clears throat> scar reformation sort of rejuvenation <laughs>